Air conditioners are working overtime to beat the heat, and some are conking out right when you need the most. 13 Action News anchor Christopher King joins us live in the studio to show us if service repair techs are really earning their keep these days. <laughs> Elizabeth, in one word, yes. We follow an AC repair team as they go to a home where the temperature indoors was nearly 100 degrees, and when it gets that hot, it can be downright dangerous. It's too hot not to have your air conditioning working. Tony Mordendi just got back from a road trip to L.A. After riding through the desert, he was hoping for some relief. Well, I was expecting a nice cool house when I got back. But when he walked inside, he got hit with an unforgiving wave of heat. It was like a spa. The bedroom thermostat said 99 degrees. One of his air conditioners died right as temperatures approached 110 degrees. And it's really uncomfortable. I mean, it's like you want to go outside where it was 107 rather than stay in here because there was no air. Service crews from Yes Air Conditioning and Plumbing race to the rescue. Workers swap out the old and replace it with a new unit. These air conditioners, old or new, are working as hard as they can. And they got there not a moment too soon. Lance Fernandez with Yes Air Conditioning says it's critical to get your AC units checked each year. It's, you know, 110, 105, 115 degrees, um, and that just makes it a necessity and not a luxury. If you don't, it can get pretty unpleasant. You'll die. Yeah, Fernandez tells us if you call an air conditioning repair service, make sure they are licensed, make sure they have insurance, and I can't emphasize this enough, make sure you have your AC units serviced at least once a year. Christopher King, 13 Action News. Thank you, Christopher.